so I will start putting in the insulation. I just bought this big roll of insulation. It's actually too thick. When it's rolled up, it's like that thin. But then when you roll, it gets really big and expands. But I'm just ripping it in like halves. Make sure you wear a mask because you don't want to breathe that stuff and some gloves, some wearing these real upper gloves. And it's good to wear a long sleeve shirt because this stuff can get itchy. Go one around and put just a little bit of glue in like some spots because the insulation a lot of times it doesn't want to stick in there, it keeps falling out. Just a little bit of glue will hold it on there until I get the plywood on. I'm just going to use a tape measure, a knife to cut with, and a marker to mark it. But yeah, it's really easy to cut it and stuff. I bought this one with like the paper backing and I think they sell some without paper backing. I thought the paper backing would be good but in this area it doesn't really work well. Probably just should buy some without the paper backing. This wall is all done and yeah it kind of like sticks out but then when I put on the plywood wall it will get smashed and it will be good. But I'm not really measuring it, just eyeballing it and then adding pieces if it's not enough. It looks good. I think I'm gonna start cutting out the plywood so I can put the window back in. I got the first piece cut out. I measured the height here and then the height here because it goes at angle and then I drew the line and angle. I put it in there and for the window I actually took the window out and I reached in there and traced it and cut it out with the jigsaw. So this piece wasn't too bad. For the front that's the harder part because all that is curved and that's curved. I'm gonna use some cardboard try to trace and get the angle right and then trace it. There will be a cabin in there if it's not perfect the cabin will cover it up. So I use cardboard cut that out it actually went really easy, pretty much got on the first try. I just drew myself kind of the shape that it's supposed to be in. Then I measured each angle. Six is so there and then I have the cover measurement and cut out. Then 28 down there. Bottom is 40 and 1 fourth. I'll cut this out then I'll come try with it and then I'll trace the window and cut that. I finally got it to fit. I had to do a lot of trimming until I got it to work. It's just a thin, really thin plywood. You can do a little bit of trimming with a knife if you need to. I'm just using this thin plywood. That's what used to be here before. And this side's already primed two times. That's gonna go against the outside. Julie primed it a while ago. You just go trace this so I won't have to measure it now for next. Side. So everything is insulated. Now we need to go through those wires because there's some speaker wires there for the radio. We're getting rid of those, so I'll get rid of those and tuck those wires in. I'm ready to put, start putting the plywood. Now you can actually see, start seeing progress. I forgot the frame done. I'm working on the wiring right now. So we actually there are two speakers for the radio, one in the cabinet that was there one on the other side of the bed and we actually got rid of them we're not gonna put them back in and we're getting rid of the old radio that was here and the tv and antennas and all that stuff so i'm just figuring out which wires were for the radio got them cut off and i'm just gonna put these things on and wrap it up with uh, electrical tape this wire actually it went also to the radio but also goes to these slides right here so i connected that one after I cut the radio wires off, I got the electricity all taken, figured out. I got it all wrapped up. 
Then yeah, I taped up in some of those spots. I just use this Gorilla rubber tape. Just so this stays in place. Construction glue adhesive. And I'll put glue on all the wooden parts. And then I'm gonna staple it in. I buy these staples. And I have this staple gun. It's like a nail gun, but it's a staple gun. And I'm using staples because the plywood's really thin. So the nails will probably just go all the way through and not hold anything. This size, and this is how the staple is. And there's still gonna be plywood here, so they're perfectly length. You don't want them too long so they don't come out. I got the first piece stapled in. I drew a line right there where the wire goes. So I'm gonna hit it. Kind of try to draw where the frame is so I can staple into it. Perfectly. There's no gaps anywhere from the, in the wood. I'm working on this front area. So for this part right here, I use half an inch plywood, a little bit thicker, because that's where our pillows are going to be, our heads. So I didn't want to break the really thin plywood that I use for the walls. So I use the thicker plywood there. So I cut it out and I just put a few screws, as you can see, to hold it up. And I'm just cutting that window out with a uh, razor knife. My bent a really nice one actually. And I also just put it on with a few screws and I'm we'll like that overnight and tomorrow I'll take it off and put some glue on and staple it in. Thank you. 
look at the top piece and also it was quite a struggle to get in so I actually laid on my back and pushed it up with my feet to get it to bend so I could nail it in the whole bed area is finally complete I can't believe it's finally done I'm gonna start working on the cabinets now I will put some little trim pieces in some places later where the cabinets don't cover up like the seams in the plywood but yeah, it's finally done. Redoing this bed area took a really long time. And it was a lot of work. This was not fun. I'm gonna tell you the truth, it wasn't fun. It actually sucked. It doesn't take much money because it's just pretty much two by fours and plywood and some glue. But it's a lot, a lot of work. If you're thinking of doing something like this, I just want you to know that it's gonna be a lot of work. If you paint the cat, uh, camper or something you see they got something done it looks nice but this stuff you just keep cutting out the rod replacing cutting out the rod replacing and it takes so long and you don't see like you made any progress so it's kind of hard <laughs> like mentally too because you feel like you're working but you're not getting anything done you need a lot of time for this and a lot of patience and if you are doing something like this uh just keep working on it i guess and one day you'll get done. I'm excited that it's finally done. I still can't believe that it got done. Pretty much everything here, this whole bed area here, it's all new. All the pot was new. Pretty much all the frame is new. And that's nice because there won't be any rod and mold anymore. I'm gonna start working on cabinets now. After I get the cabinets done, I'm gonna prime everything and paint everything. And put some trim pieces on places that need to be covered up. 